Hello everyone, today is the first story on my channel and I am going to be talking about a really funny experience I had at 7-Eleven and it's funny now but it was creepy during the actual experience. So this starts at a Smash Brothers tournament. Now me and my friends we go to Smash Brothers tournaments pretty often, usually like weekly or bi-weekly and we went to this one tournament and we were leaving there was a 7-Eleven on the way home, so we just stopped by. We walked inside, and there was a creepy guy behind the counter, but that's not the guy I'm going to be talking about. There was a creepy guy singing along to the songs on the radio, and we just avoided him because we don't want to be around that guy. So when I go to 7-Elevens, I usually get Slurpees because that's the drink I get most of the time, and Slurpees are like only at 7-Elevens. So... Me and my friend, we walked over to get a Slurpee, and this guy comes over. He's like, you don't want to get a Slurpee, that's a sugary drink. And he actually told us not to get Slurpees, just because he thought it would harm us. And we said, yeah, we know it's a sugary drink. But we were trying to, like, get him away because he seemed creepy. We got creepy vibes from him. So, me and my friend, we filled up our Slurpees, we slowly walked away, but he just started talking even more and he kept saying sugary drinks are bad for you you know and we were like uh yeah like we tried walking away and he was still near us and my other friend that we brought into the store he was hiding like you know those coolers that store like the popsicles and stuff he was near us and he was hiding like right below that and just like he was just peeking at what was happening and me and my friend were stuck talking to this creepy guy but we wanted to get out of there as soon as we could so we went out we paid the guy working at the counter was also a little weird but we just shrugged it off and we wanted to get out of there because this creepy guy was kept talking to us about sugary drinks and he seemed to be getting a little close so this was pretty funny when we walked back to the car and we looked back on the situation and it was really funny. So we wanted to see if this guy was at 7-Eleven for the future. So basically what happened is a few weeks later we went to another tournament. It was the same type of tournament. And then we went to the same 7-Eleven. We saw the guy through the window as we were walking in. And we noticed he was holding a pizza box. Now I didn't know what he was going to do with that pizza box. He, I don't know why he was holding that. And why he was even here because it didn't look like he was working there. So he was holding the pizza box and as we walked in, I was getting a Slurpee. But I looked back and I saw him talking to my friends who also walked in. And then I didn't hear the actual conversation but my friends later told me that he said, You want some pizza? I swear it's not poison. Like, I don't know why we would take a slice of pizza when he says it's not poison. Even though it probably isn't poison but... That was really funny and creepy because why would you just, why would you offer kids pizza and say it's not poison? That just gives the impression that it is poison. And I knew he was there and we went to a corner of the store to try to avoid him because we didn't want to talk to him. He was creepy. But I got my Slurpee and we just got out of there. And it's really funny because we call this guy the sugary drinks guy. That's our nickname for him. We haven't gone back to that 7-Eleven for a very long time. And if I do go back there eventually, I bet the chances I would see him are like 50-50 because he just hangs around and he's just like, he jokes around all the time. I don't know what is going on in that 7-Eleven, but I just wanted to share this creepy experience with you guys. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.